Well, you mentioned how you have to prove that you can't harm salmon. Early in the argument, you said, and then you said you're puzzled by Alaskans' <coughs> interest in, in clean water, so much interest in clean water. Uh, my question is to you. Based on what we've already seen recently, with the obvious corruption, you can deny it. How should Alaskans and the next generation of Alaskans come to trust this project at all? It's been so controversial. And I would agree with that, for sure. Yes, I would agree. A lot of people don't know. A lot of people wonder. A lot of people claim to know. This is a big deal. How can Alaskans at this point really put much trust in this project? How can we trust? What honesty have you shown? <coughs> Quite frankly, so this is my opinion. I, I think what you're saying is, is like a plastic fork. This is phony as a picnic fork. You say one thing and another is obvious. Where is the trust? And I can see that you feel the broken trust. So what, what do we have? What do Alaskans have to really I, I, base I, honesty on? I think that is a fabulous question. I'll attempt to answer it. Are you, are you done? Yes. Yeah, okay. Please ask. Uh, yeah, first of all, uh, yeah, I, whether I said it or not, I don't mean why are Alaskans concerned about the water? Why, is, why have we not digested the fact that this is something that we can do very, very well? That's what I was trying to say. It's not a major, uh, major issue. It's a, it's a very real concern that we, don't, that we do have the water. But it's not the most difficult thing to accomplish. Okay, let me let me roll back. I frankly think you you've hit on something that is that is terribly important. Now let's take a look at Alaska for just a minute. We are a state that depends on the development, the responsible development of natural resources. Okay, everyone we've ever had, to include the Alaska pipeline, has been protested. We have had, I mean, it's gonna, all the caribou will be killed, uncontrollable permafrost melting, it will destroy native culture. Well, it's been 50 years, none of those things have happened. How do you get by the controversy? The oil spill? Excuse the, me. The, the fact of the matter is that people will find reasons to go against any project, and they've got about a seven year head start because until you get the final uh, environmental impact statement, which, now let's think about this. We've got 11 agencies responsible for regulatory compliance who have looked at this thing for almost three years. That's what we should trust. Not what Pebble said, not what opponents have said, Let's trust that process. If we don't trust that process, we will end up eventually solving everything by rhetoric, okay? It doesn't matter if you trust me, you trust Pebble, you ought to trust that process. Because, again, it's not a group of people get together and say, let's go build a mine. It's a bunch of people says, my job is to make sure that these regulations are met. And they did that for almost three years. Um, that's who you should trust. It's a great question, and that's my answer. 